Hey there guys, and I know 3 million Robux, that's a lot, and I know what you're thinking. So you see this game here, it's a badge vault game, where you can collect 30,000 badges, for completely free. So today I'm gonna like explain the story behind this game, but before I can do that, the challenge for today is that if you have ever wanted 3 million Robux before, smash that like button, and maybe even click that subscribe button, why not? But with that being said, let's talk about how this dude spent 3 million Robux on badges. So yeah, also I will be telling two stories. One is obviously how a guy spent 3 million robux on badges and, and the second one is about how another guy spent 1 million robux on badges. So first we got to take it all the way back to 2009 where Roblox introduced badges. August 13, 2009. Badges, 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 mushroom, mushroom. I don't know what that was supposed to mean. So yes, Shaletsky introduced badges and groups about the same day. And badges are a feature on Roblox where if you're playing someone's game, you can be awarded a badge for whatever. You visited the game or you did something really cool and important. Whatever the developer decides to make a badge for. So it costs 100 Robux to add a badge to your game. And now badges provide like free advertisement for your game. If a really famous person in the Roblox community plays your game and gets a badge from it, uh, then people will see it. And so over the years they have built up quite a badge hunting community where people try to get the most badges on Roblox. And the people with the most badges on Roblox have millions of badges. Uh, so in 2024, the game with the most badges is Manners Badge Walk, the game shown in the intro. And so there is a genre of games on Roblox called Badge Walks, where people spend hundreds of thousands of Robux to upload thousands of badges to their game. And there's plenty of games with over a thousand badges, which is over a hundred thousand Robux. So all of these people spending Robux basically just for the clouds. I, I guess. And to have people play their game, I guess. Some could make it profitable by selling game passes in the game. But overall, it's just for the sole purpose of collecting badges, becoming the best badge collector on Roblox. Or whoever has the most badges. So in 2020, Someone decided that it would be a wild idea to spend 1 million Robux and put 10,000 badges in the in a game. By the way, it has never been done before. But before 2020, that has never been done. Nobody uh, before that has spent 1 million Robux on badges. So, what is this game? What is this game I'm speaking of? Uh, it is uh, currently called 2003 Badge Walk by Reginald. It has 2003 badges. Of course. So basically in 2020, exactly 10,000 badges equal to a little bit over 1 million Robux. And in 3 years, he added 2,000 more. So what he did is that he created a bot in Python, which is a coding language to upload 10,000 badges for him. All with the same image. Okay, and he took advantage of the system. But of course, it costed him 1 million Robux. Okay, it's pretty insane just to think about spending 1 million Robux, especially on badges. But either way, this person known as Regiron, he is in the same for doing this. But as I said in the intro, I will be telling two stories in this video. So the second story is obviously about the game with the with the most badges, which is 30,000. Manners Badge Walk by Unmannerliness. So if you look at their profile, they are quite known with over 100,000 followers. So Manner is also quite a rich Robloxian, as he is wearing a super super happy face right now, and a blue banded top hat, and other expensive items. And he also developed the game Hard Obby on his second account. I'm assuming he got Robux from that game. And I'm also guessing that he got those limiteds by trading. But just how much Robux is it he spent? Well, and so if I was to pull up a calculator here, uh, so uh, he has 30,000 badges in his game, and making one badge costs 100 Robux. So if we divide 30,000 by 100, that's 300. And the 10,000 Robux package on Roblox is exactly 100 US dollars. So if you multiply 300 by 100, that is 30,000. That is 30,000 US dollars. He would have needed to spend 30,000 US dollars to make that 30,000 badges possible. So yeah, that is insane. But I'm assuming that Manor didn't spend that much money on the game. He spent the money he got from his games. At least I'm hoping <laughs> he didn't spend that much money on Roblox. But yeah, anyway, that was the video. Thanks for watching and I'll be see you guys in the next one. Bye.